I, I was very interested in trying to understand who he was, not just as an activist, but as a thinker, as a theorist. Uh, and this is a position that most people usually don't think of of Cesar Chavez. Or in fact, if you read most of his biographies, the, there are stories of him coming to consciousness as a labor organizer and as a leader. I think that he had a unique perspective on the idea of how to use nonviolent civil disobedience as a tool for social justice and education, uh, but really learned in the fields and in his work how to connect with people and to become a strong community organizer. And from that experience realized that no one was addressing the issues of farm worker injustice in the United States. Martin Luther King around 1966 or so started to realize, he said in, in Where Do We Go From Here, uh, one of his books, that uh, he realized that the early civil rights movement was a movement that was, in his words, reactive to injustice. And they developed strategies and tactics for de uh, creating demonstrations and marches and so forth that were reacting to problems that were already existing. And so after the uh, Voting Rights Act and the Civil Rights Act in 64 and 65, he realized that more needed to be done, but he recognized that the tactics and strategies that had been developed early on in the civil rights movements, creating large marches and large demonstrations and trying to petition the government for redress, could only go so far. And problems now were about housing, were about cultural changes, uh, about militarism and racism and, and, and materialism in the United States, and that demonstrations and marches were not going to be particularly effective at trying to alter that kind of consciousness in the United States, and that other kinds of work were going to be needed to be done. Those kinds of emphases of creating alternatives, getting people to think about themselves as active participants for envisioning a different kind of world, were emphases that Cesar Chavez had early on in the building of the farm workers movement. So while he recognized that as Cesar Chavez recognized the importance of building marches and structures that were about resistance and speaking out against injustice, part of that for him was always about using those spaces at the same time to think about how can we build a better life and how can we envision something different for farm workers that would be about creating spaces for new structures. Uh, the farm worker movement was always talking also about uh, not only how do we change legislation for instance that to protect farm workers but how can then we get the farm workers to think about creating new ways of, of housing or of cooperative markets. Cesar Chavez, in some sense, was trying to develop the strategies and techniques for alternative envisioning of a socially just world. And this was always a centerpiece of the United Farm Workers Movement. The social justice activism can take place in the 21st century, that we can learn a lot from not only the example of his activism, but the ways in which he thought that that kind of uh, envisioning should take place.